Hey everybody, it's Ramona. Happy Friday. We are back with a way overdue candle review. This is Bath & Body Works Pink Rose and Leather. Now, um, I've not been burning the candle for quite some time because I was busy doing Bring Back My Bar collection and then it's been like super hot in the house. We don't have AC or a heat pump and it is really, really hot. So I just don't need, I just like anything that's related to a flame, I'm just like shying away from. But um, in the last couple of days, I have been melting, burning it. And actually there was only a little bit left in the candles. Like, okay, today I need to do that review. So I lit the candle and I looked over at it maybe about 20 minutes ago and I could see plumes of smoke coming up. It's like, oh no, it self-extinguished before I had a chance to do the video. So yes, it did self-extinguish. So anywho, my bad. So let's talk about the scent first. This is Supple Leather Blooming Rose Petals and Comforting Patchouli. So, um, let's talk about yeah okay let's talk about the scent so leather rose and patchouli um leather scents love them patchouli scents mostly like them as long as they're not too too uh who was sometimes they can be too spicy or, or too something but I, I i like patchouli in a nice in a nice mix I, so i'm not very you know averse to patchouli rose petals that's the kind of the wishy-washy one um, I find rose alone can be quite cloying, can feel kind of like uh, grandmother's little compact that had, was rose scented, if you know what I mean. Um, so on its own, I'm not a huge lover of rose. However, um, mixed with the leather and patchouli, I really actually did enjoy this. Now, I will say that um, while they were all quite present, the rose did take uh, the front seat. So probably I would, if I had to give numbers, I would say 40% rose, 30 leather, 30 patchouli. So they were all there. The rose just was a little bit stronger than the rest. Um, so I, I must say that I enjoyed it. I didn't love it. I gave it a seven out of 10 percent appeal. Um, I probably wouldn't repurchase it just because it was a little bit heavy on the rose for me. If the rose was toned down a bit and maybe it was equal parts rose, leather, and patchouli, I might purchase it again. But not being a rose fan, I probably would not. But anyhow, let's talk about the burn. So uh, I did not have to cotton ball it. I had no puny wicks. Um, as you can tell, it, it is self-extinguished now. Maybe you can't tell, but it's right down to the wick clips. Um, and there's, I don't know if you can tell or not, there's maybe about a quarter of an inch of wax left. Uh, now, but on the other hand, it did uh, put off a little bit of soot. And I'm all, I always uh, trim my wicks. I always keep my wick trimmer handy right here. Before each burn, I trim the wicks. So it did put off some um, soot. But other than that, there was no clinging to the sides of the vessel. It burned down nicely, made a nice pool of wax every time. So other than the soot, I had really no complaints about the burn. Um, uh, it was fine. So, and the throw on this one was quite strong, like eight, eight and a half, uh, very present, including like the rose was it was out there front and center, uh, but otherwise no problem smelling it. It was very present. I could smell all of them. So uh, this was definitely a thumbs up as far as performance goes. Uh, for scent, that's just my own scent preference. I don't particularly care for strong rose scents, but um, if you like rose scents, if you like rose blends, I really think this is one that you should try because it, it, was, it was enjoyable. It was enjoyable. Uh, I just wouldn't, it wasn't enjoyable for enough to be purchased again. But otherwise, it's a, it was a thumbs up. Okay, so next time, the three we're going to vote on. Now, this goes different than Scentsy Saturday. Scentsy Saturday is the first two people. Um, when we do candles, you can vote, vote, vote. And when it's time for me to light a new candle, which it is because this one is dead now, the, uh, the one that gets the most votes is the one I will... Um, burn now since this one is empty and I don't really there's not much time before I light the next one let's say I'll light the next one on Monday and then all the votes that we get on the weekend that will that will be um, 
the candle I will choose and burn. So I have plans. I'm going out. Actually, I'm going to my new apartment to look around on Monday. I'm going to take a friend over to see it. So, you know, Monday afternoon, Monday evening, we'll cut off the voting and I will burn the next candle. Now, okay, you're saying, just stop talking, will you? And give us the choices. Okay. Sugared lemon and blueberry sugar. Sun drenched linen. Both of these are Bath and Body Works candles. And finally, um, this one from Life at Home, Gingered Blackberry Sparkler. And I'm looking forward to this one. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. So those are the three you can start voting on Monday night or Monday late Monday afternoon. I will start burning one. And hopefully I will have a review for you a lot sooner than what I did this time. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, anyway, it's really hot here. If you're in a hot location, make sure you stay hydrated. Happy Friday, and I'll see you soon. Bye.